The constellations familiar from Earth, mapped here in 3D space by the Hipparchos satellite, quickly become unrecognizable as we drift toward the Orion star cloud a thousand light years away. In the Great Orion Nebula, massive luminous young stars light up the dust and gas for ten light years around. In the Horsehead Nebula, a dense knot of dust is silhouetted against red glowing hydrogen gas. Here comes another star cluster embedded in the Rosette Nebula. Many clusters are scattered through our galaxy's disk, but only in such young clusters can we find stars still embedded in the gas that formed them. Not all nebulae are in the business of rearing stars. The Crab Nebula is a supernova remnant where a massive star exploded, leaving a spinning pulsar to blink at its core. Rising now above the disk plane and its obscuring clouds of dust, we see our galaxy in its full grandeur, 100,000 light years across. Earthbound astronomers cannot look at our galaxy this way. This model is derived from an image of another Milky Way-like galaxy, Messier 83. To the left are our satellite galaxies, the Magellanic Clouds, our nearest neighbors. The Andromeda Galaxy M31 and the Pinwheel M33 are the other large members of our local group within two million light years of home. This nebula in M33 is like the Orion Nebula but far larger. If seen at the same distance, it would fill half our sky. M31 is the farthest object the human eye can easily see from Earth, but we will travel much further following chains of galaxies out to the Virgo Cluster. We pass Messier M81 and M82, Messier 101, one of the giants of our neighborhood, and the beautiful Whirlpool Galaxy interacting with its satellite. Ahead now lies the core of the local supercluster of galaxies. We fly along the filament through the Ursa Major Cluster, a region of a hundred spiral galaxies. Our goal is near, the Virgo Cluster, with a thousand member galaxies moving under each other's gravity, is the largest concentration of matter for a hundred million light years around. Our journey ends as we fall into Messier 87, the giant elliptical galaxy that dominates this cluster.